Buildy here. There's been th some things coming up uh, over the last few days on uh, the internets where some of the normies, some of the more platformed ones, I guess, influencers, normie influencers are saying things like, you know, oh, you know, all this is coming out. We, we may have been wrong about some things, you know, and, you know, we said some things and you said some things and, you know, let's, let's just forget about it. Let's just go on, you know. And uh, that offends people and it should. There's even one, the, probably the most... Uh, the, the most clear one that's not purposefully obfuscated uh, is uh, in the Atlantic where someone's calling for an amnesty, a COVID amnesty. Uh, her name's Emily. It's an article in the Atlant Atlantic by uh, Emily Oster. I'll throw a link in here. But she's basically saying we need to forgive one another for what we did and said when there when we were in the dark about COVID. We were in the dark about COVID. This kind of ploy happens a lot with these people. It's it's instructive as to who they are and how they think. Uh, if someone waylays you because they can because they have the authority or at least the uh, acquiescence of the government and authorities and experts in the media to do it or they can just sneak up behind you and pop you in the head and take your things and tie you up and then torture you maybe poke you for a while and burn you and stuff and uh, they enjoy doing it they enjoy that shit and then they find out that they were wrong. The government backs off. Fundamentally wrong. And it's like, oh, well, you know, we had a little spat. I said some things. You said some things. Let's just go on. That, that's really what's happening here. And you should be offended by it. We weren't wrong. You were wrong. And you were malicious and sadistic about it. And now, oh, let's just forget about it and go on. The fundamental thing that I've been trying to tell people, that I've been trying to share is, this is an existential view that they have. This is their, their theology is what causes them to be like that. Is what triggered the whole thing. You're not going to address it with logic. You're not going to address it with shame. You're not going to address it with social pressure or anything else. It's the fundamental theology has to be changed. And most people don't know what to tell them because they don't know themselves what the difference is in the theology. I try to share that with people and they don't. What's this got to do with anything? There's a lot missing. People go to church in America and they're given misinformation, they're given malinformation. Everything's been spun and changed about where evil comes from and its nature and how to deal with it. It's not taught in the West in Christian churches. They've got this substitute. It's the, the feelsies or <clears throat> actually there's several different varieties of it to appeal to several different personality types. And none of it's accurate. None of it's on spot. What is accurate and on spot can be determined through a holistic, complete picture of the what was originally said in view and through the lens of what was believed when it was written in your scriptures. If you're going to be a Christian... You probably need to know about that stuff. It's not irrelevant. It's not difficult to understand. These people think they, like, like uh, I think Donald Rumsfeld said, we create our own reality as we go along. And while you're contemplating that, we're off creating another reality. They think they can, because as a whole, as a collective, and they have these 
experts and authorities that are creating reality, they think it's reality. They don't believe in objective reality. They believe in the reality that they created or their the people that they look up to, the experts and the other humans, the government, and the, the most corrupt people in the world, the corporate, uh, I wouldn't say controllers, influencers at the very top, they buy into that. They put it on. They take that mark. They become a part of that and they believe in that. And a lot of them because they've been malinformed all their lives. And it also it's a character issue. It's what they are. And they get worse as they make themselves that as they continue in it. There is a way out. It involves a real change of heart. That's what has to happen. And uh, it's not it's not like uh, people can Oh those people need Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You need to know Jesus died for you and you take Jesus into your heart. It's a, you need to explain it a little better than that. We gotta start with where evil comes from and why you're doing evil things. And why you need to repent and change. Your your little uh, little just so stories and your Billy Graham theology doesn't freaking work. I've been in the middle of it for years and years and years. If you kill the head, the body will die. You have to go for the root cause. That's why I try to, I, I'm not very good at it, I try to share this stuff and try to focus on that. The core root of the problem, not the periphery, or, uh, or not just, well, why does this happen? Why are they like that? Screw them. No. I try to share this and people are like, <laughs> What's this? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Kind of frustrating. Is it me? Maybe it is. I don't think so, though. I just need to get better at it. Kill the head. Go for the root. And you're not always going to be successful. Because people are really locked into that stuff, and they dig it. Not all of them, though. They're born and raised in it. It's reinforced daily, not just on their television, but in their churches. And it's part of what they believe of how the world works and what the world is and what they're here for. It's different than your belief in that. We can do this. Yeah, seriously. Focus. That's enough for this. i got to go to work. Adios. Billy signing out.